Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to make um, a paper folder like this one. It is made out of cardstock paper, so it is a little bit thicker than regular paper. The measurements your paper is going to need to be, and this is important, it's going to need to be 11 inches or 28 centimeters tall and 8.5 inches to 21.5 centimeters wide. Because if you don't, then the paper you put inside of it will be actual the same size as the folder and it might start bulging out and it might rip the folder so yeah so it's gonna look like this when it's done and the materials you're gonna need are three sheets of cardstock paper this is another sheet but <laughs> some scissors some tape and a ruler if you want to get the measurements right this is a ruler I promise <laughs> Ugh. But it is a roar. Okay. So get those measurements and stuff and get your paper and yeah. So what I did before I actually started filming the video was I took a sheet of cardstock paper that I wanted to use for the pockets on the inside of the folder and I cut it in half. So cut that in half and then I trimmed a centimeter to a quarter of an inch off the side. Um, so you can do that too. And then you'll be ready to actually start making your folder. And you will need a lot of tape for this. So a lot of tape. So what you want to do first is you want to line up your folder just like this. Well, your two papers, just like this, to be the outside of your folder. They don't have to be the same. They can be different. Then you just want to tape them together. Try to keep them as lined up as possible. So I'm going to take that. And you can get the correct measurements for your tape, too, if you want to. But I just estimate. So you can tape half of it to this side. Whoa, you probably can't see this, but... Uh, okay. You're going to tape half of it to one sheet. And then you're going to pull that half over to the other sheet. That probably made no sense, but whatsoever. So, line it up, and then you can just fold the tape over. I just want to make sure everything's lined up so my folder will be like perfect. So, and try to get the tape without as out as many wrinkles as you can. So, yeah. And then you want to tape the inside because if you don't, it'll be sticky right here. So you want to tape the inside where the crease is. Tape. Just put the tape over top of it and. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I don't know what I just did there. Oh my gosh. So you're going to tape the inside. Oh my gosh. I just wasted like a whole roll of tape. Okay, so yeah. Tape the inside. Try not to mess up like I did. But tape the inside. And then kind of fold it to get the crease in it. Then you want to put some more tape on the outside just to make sure this piece of tape does not come off. So you want to get the same amount of tape and put it kind of like not where the fold is but like where your last piece of tape ended. So just right there. Just another strip of tape right here. And do the same to the other side. Then once you've done that, you can start making your pockets. And like I said, you have to have a sheet of cardstock cut in half and trim about a centimeter or a quarter of an inch off the side. I already did that. Now you have a blank folder like this. And you just want to take your half sheets of paper, line it up to the end. You're going to see there's going to be a little bit of space right here. You want to tape to the bottom and tape it to the side. So I'm going to do that right now. Oh, whoa. So just put the tape right here. 
line it up to the end. You cannot see what I'm doing, but I'll show you. And then fold it over. So it should flop down like that. Then take the side. If it's not actually lined up all the way, you can cut a little bit more of the half sheet off, or you can just leave it a little bit showing. So it should open up like this, okay, kind of like that. So you can just kind of stuff your papers in it. Then I'm going to do the same to the other side. So this time I'll actually show you what I'm doing. Take a little piece of tape, then do this. So this is very awkward. Put the tape right here. I'm just going to do it like this because that is very hard. Oh my gosh. Put the tape on the side and tape it to the side just like that. Pull the tape over. And try to not put many wrinkles in the tape because it will make your folder kind of bulge. So, yeah. Whoa. Tape. Put it at the bottom of the folder. And fold it over. So you should have a folder with two pockets that open up like this where you can put paper in it. Now, to make your folder a little bit more stable, I would put some more tape at the bottom just to reinforce it. I would put more tape where your last piece of tape ended and kind of overlap it a little bit. And do the same on the inside to both sides. Just so, once you start putting papers and stuff in your folder, that the folder will not rip. So, I'm going to do that just so it can be reinforced. I'm just going to do it to the outside. I'll do the rest later. That is important that you do that so your folder will not rip because it will rip if you don't reinforce the tape. So, alright, now I have my folder and if you want to add labels to it, the little scraps of paper that you cut off or you could just use like scraps of paper from like anywhere. You just take the paper. I'm not going to make any labels for this one, but I'll show you how. You just take the scraps of paper. You can fold it in half and cut it, whatever. And just rip it. I'm just going to rip it. But. Then you take your little scrap of paper, and you go to the pockets. You write down what you want on it, like to do, as an instance. As for instance, this one. I wrote to do and finish with little scraps of paper I had left over. So you just put the paper, oh my gosh, you put the paper down right here, once you have what you want written on it, and then you tape over it, so it will be a label type thing, but I'm not putting any labels on this one, so, yeah, then you can put papers in it, and any important stuff, so there's paper, I'm putting it in this one, and it will hold it, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for that I can think of right now. So, yeah.